force them to do this review. <laughs> oh, that was our intro. Damn it. <laughs> Steven, and we just got finished watching a movie with Thelma. that random kid, though. <laughs> My nephew. So, welcome, that random kid, though. Um, uh, so, would you like to kind of let him know what you do on your channel? I make movie reviews and trailer breakdowns. I'm obsessed with it, so if you like it content, uh, hit him with that shirt, I got you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you mainly focus on horror movies, or do you uh, do anything else, or just everything you like? Everything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, that random kid, though. He's got his own uh, YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put the information in the description below. Boom. Uh, we went and saw Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Uh, what did you guys think of it? I thought it was actually really good. Surprisingly, uh, I didn't really know what to think uh, going in, but um, it ended up being like a Pretty pretty good movie. I mean, what did you say? It got like eighty percent ratings. Uh, yeah. So I I would agree with that. I mean, I thought they did a really good job of telling the stories and um, just the way the movie played and the way it all went along. What you think? Uh, I liked it. I liked all the stories that they did. I liked Harold. That was a good story. Um, that was pretty freaky, right? And I think they did really good. Um. Kind of making the the you know the, the monsters the characters uh, straight from the book. Harold looked like he did in the book. So did um, the dream lady. She looked yeah. like she did in the book. You know. Um, he looks scary on the big screen. Like when he was like zooming in on here, I was like, <gasps> yeah, that's not the dream lady. The yeah, the red room or the red hall. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Where's big girl. Yeah. yeah. I do I do like that they you know it was PG thirteen but they. It, it wasn't too PG-13. Right. Like, when I saw um, Harold chasing that kid with the the pitchfork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And what did you say to me right after the movie? Oh, yeah, I said, uh, this movie at Quiet Place do a good job on showing that you don't have to have an R rating to be a good horror movie. Yeah. Which is true. And it was really good. So, you both have read the books. Yeah. They both read the books. Uh, I've never read the books. Didn't really know what to think of going into it, but I mean, I can just tell from watching the movie, I'm like, okay, I got that story, I got that story. I mean, so I can see it as if I did read the books, and I felt like, even though I, I didn't really know them, I was like, I felt like, that, like I said, they did a really good job. Boom. They did a really good job of uh, um, telling them. Is that Sarah, uh, Sarah Bellows just now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the shout out? Oh no, it's right there. Dude. Rat dog. Uh, They're coming for you. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah, you didn't pray to Guadalupe. <laughs> Remember that? I told you to pray, pray to Guadalupe for safe travels back to Phoenix and no. So let's see. Um, you liked the video, or you liked it, I liked it, you liked it. I liked it. Um, and this is what I'm about to say is not like a bad thing about the movie. It's just there's so many stories from the three books that I've read mm -hmm. that I kind of want more now. Like, I want more. I, I wish they had more stories and, you know, like the four or five main ones that they focused on. Yeah, that's that's just what I was hoping. I was just hoping for a lot more scary stories, but maybe that leaves room for them to make another one or go a different way. I think so with the end. I thought, it, or I, I think it deserves like a, like an 8.5. It's not, it's not like... I'll watch it 37 times. This is a lit 8.5 dab. Dab <laughs> Boom! I'm gonna say... Okay, so I have to keep it in, in mind. It's PG-13, um, so they're not gonna show too much, like, gruesome stuff, but they did do a good job. I mean, I'd give it... I'll say... I'll give it a 7. I feel like if... I feel like people should go out and watch it. Like, I think that if you go out and watch it, like, you're going to leave and you're going to like it. I mean, it was, it was, it was really good because you got to remember this came from children's stories, you know. I remember elementary school, everyone had a copy of the book. You, you couldn't check it out from the library because everyone had already checked it out. 
or they had their own copies. Yeah. So it was meant for kids, and for them to make this movie the way they did, you know, I wasn't expecting anything crazy gory, crazy scary. Like, I think they 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 knew what they were trying to do when they did it, and that's kind of what I was going, you know, expecting going in. So I'm gonna give this one an eight. That's what's up. Like that's the thing. I feel like they really just like um, they did a good job of telling the story. Yeah. I felt like they let it in good in the beginning. You got a lot of good stuff in there. You got to find out how you got the book, what they were doing, all the kind of characters for the different um, stories that were going to come up. And then they each take what they took their little 15, yeah. 15, 20 minutes for each story to give you enough to where you're like, all right, you know, yeah. I got it, I got it. Like, and, and you know how much I like my uh, anthologies? Anthologies. Ooh, That's kind of, kind of what this anthologies? Is, you know? This movie was it was a really good anthology. In fact, they yeah. could have each been longer. Yeah. Like, especially I want, the I want to see more of Harold. Dude, I don't, Harold yeah, and the Toad, yeah. dude. Because that lady was... Yeah. Like, that one kind of had me a little bit on the edge. And Harold, too. Because freaking cornfields, dude. Yeah. So many places to hide in a cornfield. Why do cornfields suck so much? <laughs> but then when I'm in a cornfield, I don't feel scared. But when I see it, like, in a movie, I'm like... And if you read the book, if you read that story... Carol's on the top of the roof. Yeah. Carol gets on top of the house on top of the roof. That'd be creepy. That'd be. Seeing the scarecrow up there. Yeah. Doesn't he like scan in the book? Yeah. I don't know what's in it. Should have gone. Book, for, got book for children. Book for children. <laughs> scarecrow skinning people. So I'll just to, for that I'll just say that I'm satisfied and I want more. Uh, we're full, but we're still hungry. <laughs> this movie was basically if Goosebumps and Final Destination had a child. That's my final rating. Because it was like the, the stories are coming to life, but picking them out, like, for Goosebumps, they could just, you know, take out anyone. They're like, oh, your name is in this story. Uh, you're dead. You're done. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to that random kid, Joe. Thanks for joining us. Uh, sharing your love of horror cinema. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace the heck. Ow.